that's a bit of a problem. Oh. So we didn't take the flight back, we are staying one, a few more days at uh, Labo and Bayou and we're going to do diving again today with Dragon Dive Komodo. So that's going to be fun, I think. Uh, we had good recommendations. Yeah, I'm never good at talking to the camera in the early mornings. Anyways, we went with Dragon Dive Komodo, which by the way has a really nice hotel or hostel with a pool, so a perfect location to rest after the dives. The first dive, Turtle Heaven as they call it. We went towards Sibia Bazaar dive site, where we jumped in the water and started discovering the underwater beauty. Truly, it's a heaven for turtle lovers. So many big and small turtles you could find here, along with the beautiful coral, made this a good start of the day. For the whole day, we paid 2.475 million rupiah. Want to learn how to dive? Don't be pulled on your tank like this. The second dive, Manta Point. This is a drift dive with unfortunately a bit poor visibility. Nevertheless, an interesting experience to see how fast you're actually moving and how little you can do about it. Swimming against the current is near to impossible. When we finally reached a cleaning station, which is a spot where mantas just relax and being cleaned by fishes, it was important to quickly hold on to something and make sure you are not breaking any coral either. It was a challenge, but eventually everyone got their spot to peacefully watch the big manta staying in one spot very easy. I guess this wasn't the best day for this diving spot, so do expect to see about 10 mantas here doing a good day with better visibility. During our upcoming video I'll have some more mantas for you with better diving conditions. The last dive site, Tatawa Bazaar, close to a remote island with a beautiful beach. We discovered the underwater world for one more time on this beautiful day. To see a combination of a lot of fishes and coral which was a nice last dive.
So the diving was really nice. I mean, we had so many awesome things we've seen. I mean, I have already showed you what we've seen, so it was really good. Today we are going with the group we met on the boat already and we were diving with to a very remote village. I have no idea which village. They organized everything actually. That's how things sometimes go, so just go along. So we booked some scooters. We go to the village, uh, which is like three hour drive in total. And then we have to hike for two hours to the village. It's uh, somewhere up on the mill, up on the hills. So not sure what to expect, but it's going to be very, very uh, back to basics, probably. So far a smooth ride, sometimes dodging some potholes or splashing through the water was just a warm up of what was about to come. The destination is Wae Rebo. From Labuan Bayou we first had to drive 3.5 hours, according to Google Maps, to the spot where we will park our bikes. But that road has its challenges, to begin with here, after about 3 hours of driving. Dag. Yeah, yeah. After that it's a combination of poor rocky roads and driving through some nice villages up to the parking spot. In total this took us 5 hours, with just one lunch break and one other small stop in between. So we reached the point where we park our scooters and now it's a two hour hike to the village. It's now three o'clock so we should make it by five. And if you come here make sure you go eat somewhere in a village nearby. We drove past and we actually still need lunch. We have some cookies but that's actually not enough. So, um, And enough water, also very important.
first hut actually only having papers on it to explain the rules of the village. We are almost there. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Good evening. Benelam Mimpo, Mimpo Tikile, Tikisi, Yamedo, Linedo, Ahikedo, Akapurubintam, Bewa, Zatuzan, Woto, Kantana, Simbaru, Orone Kapanga, Gadur. So we started off with a little tradition where we are welcomed and blessed and then we go to the guest house to uh, eat a cup of tea, drink a cup of tea and assign our pets. They really can expect like 100 people on a single day so today there are just only 10 and we did see some people on the way that are also going so I guess we end up with about 20. So now just exploring the village a little bit, taking some pictures and enjoying the scenery before it gets cold. It was nice yesterday to learn more about this local village. It was really nice to see how they do everything very much back to basics. Um, yeah, it's just some kind of feeling you're getting when you're here. Hard to describe. The dinner was okay. The sleep was also okay. Beds were quite soft. The bathroom is not really something you would uh, expect at home, of course. It's just a pull, using a bucket to pull over your head uh, to get a shower. And it's very cold, of course. So don't expect any luxury here. So I hope you liked visiting this village with us. Thank you for watching and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more of those local adventures.